Bid your number eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, being part three of the homosexuality miniseries. I'm um, sorry for that uh, awkward ending on the last video. Something happened with my with my connection. Don't know what. Um, anyways, recap. I was talking about um, what the what that pa Baptist pastor said, um, and then I got down to this. I'll just pick right back up. Stop looking down on them. Okay. Um, the Bible says that our righteousness is as rags. The very best that we can do is insignificant in compared to the perfect God, to God's perfection and God's beauty and God's holiness. It is insignificant. You know, I saw this picture um, the other day. It had a whole bunch of uh, human skeletons back to back, side by side. And underneath them were captions, and the captions read, you know, here's a skeleton, and it said straight. Here's a skeleton, and it said straight. Here's one, and it said gay. And then here's one, and it said straight. And the and underneath of that, it said, um, um, underneath, we're all the same. We're, no, 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 it said, what's the difference? Nothing. We're all people. And, you know, that's totally true. We, underneath, we are all the same. Um, we are all people. We're all humans. And uh, don't don't get this idea that you're so much better than them. They are uh, homosexuals are not any lower than you, okay? Um, and just keep that in mind. The Bible says that our righteousness is as filthy rags. Um, uh, there is a there is a balance between the two views. You don't have to hate homosexuals, but you don't have to say, you know abandon what the Bible says on it and say, oh, well, they can just do whatever they want, you know, there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. There is a middle ground, and I hope that's, that's what I'm trying to show you through the, through this video, these videos. Um, first off, you can't just yell it away, you can't, like, wish the gay away, it's not like, that, that's my genie, my genie in a bottle. Oh God, I have three wishes. The first one is I don't want to be gay anymore. There's many homosexuals throughout history who have tried so hard and furiously to just not be gay. You know, I'm not, I'm not gay. Oh, I'm still gay. But it never works. Because, one, there's this misunderstanding of, of, of gayness and what it is and, and how to get rid of it. And, you know, there's just this, this just total lack of, lack of understanding about it. And it creates, and creates this, this bubble of just confusion that we allow to stay there because we won't go near it. We won't touch the subject. Um, let, let's ask this question. What makes someone gay? Think about this honestly and re realistically. What makes someone gay? Is it because they how they dress? What they do? What they think? What is it? I submit that you're not homosexual if you're tempted. You're homosexual if you do. Okay, consider Christ. Okay, what did he say about, about adultery? He said, if you so much as lust in your heart, in your mind, you have already committed adultery. But, Christ was tempted himself. Okay, he himself went through temptation of man, and it was not counted as sin. Okay, what does that mean? It's like this. L let me break it down. Everybody has a different, different something that they struggle with, that, that they lust after. Um... Christ, evidently, was tempted to lust for power. Some guys are, lust, are tempted to lust for, um, for women. Some women are tempted to lust for women. See what I'm saying? There's different things that different people struggle with. Um, and temptation is not the point. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's tempted, tem tempted to do something. You know, and just because a homosexual is tempted to look at, another per at a person of the same sex doesn't mean that their temptation is any more disgusting than our temptation. You know, we get this idea as a Christian, like, oh, well, I can, I can do this and this and this, but they're, uh, but I'm, at least I'm not as bad as them, you know? Uh, like this comparing each other to each other rather than comparing ourselves to Christ. Um, uh, so what makes someone gay? If they lust in their minds, if, if they think about it, if they're doing it inside, and if they do it, if they're if they're if they're outwardly acting, act, doing gay, acting gay, or if they're in inside, if they're um, lusting and keeping those thoughts of, of of homosexuality, 
that's what makes someone gay. You know, that's impor it's important to redefine what, what being gay is because we have such a misunderstanding about it. Um, so, so what about liars? What about those who lust? What about people who steal? What about those who get drunk? 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says that the people, you Christians who are getting drunk, yeah, you're just the same as, as those homosexuals who you hate so much. The, 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 the cheaters, the liars, the stealers, they're all the same. 1 Corinthians 9 says none of those people are going to inherit the kingdom of God. None of them. You know, so, so how, how's that for a spin around? Um, so if, so you, you, you know, sometimes we try to make, make it off as if homosexuality is worse homosexuality is worse than other than other things when the Bible makes abundantly clear that it is just the same um, all sin all sin separates separates man from God, man from God Romans 3:23 says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God uh, Romans 3:23 like I said um, so you who pass judgment you do the same. You know, oftentimes we can tell homosexuals to go look at Romans 126, and then we forget to read Romans 2, you know. Um, uh, we're, I'm getting ready to end this video, so I'm trying to, trying to think of where to, where to stop it. Um, so that's really what I, where I want to end this, end this video today, is that all sin separates us from God. You know, it's all of it is ugly. All of it, all of it um, is the same. You know, you can't you can't isolate it like homosexuality is this thing over here, and we're better and more perfect and we're over here. Um, it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. Um, and, and like I said, those people those people who are doing these other sins they're just as, as guilty as, as the homosexuals, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Keep watching these mini-series. Please don't stop here. If you came this far, please continue. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, next time we'll be talking about, I was born this way!